In today's digital world, we constantly need to research things to keep up. The quest for precise information doesn't have to feel like an endless time waste. Ever found yourself frustrated looking for SEO-optimized pages that have a lot of fluff but no real answer? Or maybe you hesitated to ask Google because you know that it will fail to understand what you mean and will give you useless information. That's when Perplexity, the game-changing app, comes into play. Even though Perplexity is using GPT as a backend to understand what you mean instead of just looking for the things in a database, it goes through first 10 answers on the page and actually understands what it means and gives you only the relevant information. Instead of going through fluffy SEO optimized pages, what you're doing is you're consulting an expert who has done the research, who has done everything for you and gives you only the relevant answers to your question. For me, perplexity has changed the way I use the internet. It's changed the way I do research and has increased my productivity by hundredfolds. So let's get into it and see how we can learn it and get better at it. If we haven't met before, my name is Klim. I'm a CEO and on this channel, I talk about productivity, business and marketing. I talk about having a fulfilling and great life. So the problem with traditional search engines is that you can optimize in order to get on top of the search results. And what it ends up doing is uh, big companies trying to use their hacking in order to actually be on top of the uh, search rankings in Google or in other platforms. So why is it bad? Because in you, most cases, instead of showing a useful information, people make hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands of pages with useless blubber that is useless to anyone who is looking for a real answer. Most of the time, it's just rehashed answers of already existing pages. And what's even worse, in the world of AI, you can generate millions of pages in a matter of days without even a copywriter. Because what you can do is just query the GPT, it will give you the page, and you will actually have a perfect, perfect page for sale which is really bad if you're looking for an answer, especially if it's a deep answer. So the problem with current engines is that the system is completely broken. So for example, imagine you're looking for comparison between Photoshop or Canva. If you just search that on Google, you'll get 20 of pages that are SEO optimized, that are getting their affiliate links to those platforms in order to earn money. They're useless, they provide no real expertise, they have no person behind it, no real experience of using them, just a SEO optimized page. What Perplexity does in this case, it, it basically scans all of these pages, only takes the unique relevant information, compares it and gives you the comparison list outline of what exactly you were asking for. For example, you asked, what is the hottest job on the market right now? It gave you an outline because it searched the internet, it looked at the statistics and can give you the rough understanding of what exactly is the hottest job for. You can ask it again to do a deeper search, a more detailed search to what exactly you want. So for example, you're working in medicine, you can specify that to only bring up the relevant information for your specific niche. What would be impossible in Google or would take you hours and hours can be done in a matter of seconds or even milliseconds by perplexity. Perplexity also enables you to highlight specific parts of the answer that you're looking for and dive deeper, asking more relevant information, more research and other avenues where you can get the research to source data and to check that it's correct. Most of the time, I used to use an assistant or someone else who could give me the irrelevant information for me. For example, for a project that I'm working on or a marketing campaign that we're doing to make sure that we are unique, that no one has done this before, and this is actually relevant to our target audience. What I can do now is instead of using an assistant, I can go to Perplexity and talk to it about it. Basically discuss ideas, check the internet, check who was using this, uh, if there are any other companies that have done this before, and use that information instead of using a real assistant that is more expensive and actually makes more mistakes than Perplexity. On top of all that, Perplexity has two unique features that I want to talk about as well. First one is actually looking for academic papers. I don't know about you, but I love to dig deeper. For example, I'm losing weight right now and I would like to know what are the scientific based facts that I can use in order to boost my efficiency in losing weight and getting fit and getting better body. So I can go into perplexity and I can actually look for exact things by the keywords through different types of papers that are relevant to this keyword. This has not been possible before. Before you couldn't even use a database because all the papers are either paid, you don't have a good outline, there is no good search. Yeah, there were options, but they were terrible. And because they didn't understand what you were looking for, they only understood the keywords. Most of the time you didn't find what you were looking for. 
Perplexity beats that. It does academic research for you, it gives you the papers, you can read them, you can study them. And if you don't understand something, no worries. You can just ask Perplexity what exactly this means and we'll explain to you in simple terms, also based on the research. That's a game changer for any research job out there. The second part is to create presentations. In corporate world right now, everyone is forced to do presentations or outlines to back up their points to influence people. If you're in a similar situation, you know how frustrating it is to find specific points, data or infographics to back up your point. Perplexity basically solves that. You go into Perplexity, you write down the prompt and it gives you the images, the videos, the statistics, anything you want. And on top of that, if you want to check your data or you want to get more data, you can always go into the source because Perplexity compares that. This doesn't just allow you to do your research faster, it also allows you to do it better and to do more research, which in the end just leads to better point and better structuring of your data. I think that if you're using Perplexity, you're not only boosting your productivity, you're actually guaranteed to get a promotion and increase your output in any sort of way you could imagine in the job, in your life or anywhere else. So, of course, I have to say that ChatGPT and OpenAI had put out their search things into ChatGPT, but it's just not the same way. It doesn't have the understanding, it only does one search, it's not that good. Maybe in the future we won't have to use perplexity and we can have ChatGPT do the search for us, but for now, with all these features, with spaces, with news, with curated answers, I think there is nothing better for me to use as an alternative to Google to do research to understand the things correctly. So if you like this video, I think you will love this video. Check it out and subscribe.